In this video, we'll take you on a tour of MindTap. You'll access MindTap within your Blackboard course. Once you've logged into your Blackboard course, you can access MindTap by clicking on any link that has the blue Cengage Learning Star logo next to it. When you click the link, make sure that you do have your pop-up blocker set to allow for pop-up windows that come from NKU Blackboard. Once you click the link, MindTap will open in a separate tab. You can navigate MindTap using one of two views. You can use your week view, which will show you what is due on a given week. To access the assignment, you'll simply click on the listing from the week menu and the assignment will open. Your other option is to use the unit view, which is accessed by clicking on the middle view icon here at the top. This will give you more of a table of contents type view. You can open up a folder and then access the relevant chapter. Each chapter will have a similar structure of resources. Each chapter will begin with the Why Is This Important to Me activity, the chapter reading, problem walkthrough videos, but keep in mind that not all chapters will have the problem walkthrough videos, and then your practice activities. Most chapters will include the blueprint problems, which will take a core concept from the chapter and walk you through step by step, as well as the practice questions, which are, which are your end of chapter questions from the chapter. Then you'll have your two assignments for the chapter. The first activity is your assignment. Once you open up the assignment, you'll be given a list of questions. Keep in mind that you'll be able to attempt each question up to three times. You can access the question by clicking on its title. Go through and answer the question. When you are finished answering the question, click on the Grade It Now button, which is listed at the bottom of the page. This will use your first attempt at the question. Right away, you'll be able to see what you've gotten correct and incorrect, and you can open up relevant feedback for each part of the question. If you would like to try the question again, click on the Try Another Version button. This will use your second attempt at the question. You'll be given a similar but new question to answer. Again, keep in mind that you are able to answer each question up to three times. To return back to the question list, you can click the Back to Assignment link. Once you are finished with the activity, meaning that you have used all three attempts at each question or you are satisfied with your score, click on the I'm done grade assignment now button to submit your assignment to your instructor. The second assignment that you'll have for the chapter are your end of chapter questions. Each assignment will contain six end of chapter questions. Similar to the assignment that we just looked at, you'll have three attempts at each question. Again, click on the question title and enter in the answers. When you're finished, you can click on Grade It Now again to see the correct and incorrect answers, as well as review feedback. If you'd like to try another version, again, click on Try Another Version to use your second attempt at the question. Just like with the previous activity, when you're finished, you're going to click the I'm Done Grade Assignment Now button. Keep in mind that for either assignment, you do not need to finish it within one sitting. You can save your progress and come back to it later, but make sure to click the I'm done great assignment now when you're ready to submit the assignment to your instructor. While you're using MindTap, if you run into any issues, you can access Cengage Learning Tech Support using the link that's within your Blackboard course or by clicking on your name in the MindTap window and clicking on the customer support link. You can also access additional help tools within your MindTap course by clicking on the All Apps menu and accessing things like the full book, your search tool, as well as your pre-built flashcards. 